luckily there's people like Ralph and in this world that can who can get us ambidextrously faster you know and they've they've researched these technologies over 35 years um, you know come up with these wall exercises hand-eye coordination throwing the balls doing all those things that can accelerate us to get to those you know so that we don't just have to go out and just exclusively start using the other side even though that's pretty you look at the success of Sharapova and Nadal and Nadal if you see him at the French Open signing autographs he does it right-handed he plays tennis left-handed I'm told that Tony Uncle Tony tied his uh, his original coach um, tied his right arm behind his back when he first went to play tennis and wouldn't let him you know I don't know if that's the best idea I, I would say to raise a kid you know I mean you can see it when you're teaching kids anybody out there when they first step on a tennis court that it is so natural for them when you throw them a ball to hit it here and then you throw it over here and then they hit it here and then I, then and you know and as humans we're always looking oh look he's left-handed oh look he's right-handed you know start, and we foster that sort of from, from the beginning we stir up oh yeah and and this idea that there is a dominant side it, as opposed to like if we fostered you know creating ambidextrous players from the beginning so that when the ball comes over here they're hitting a one-handed one-handed you know two hands this way to anything one of our our sayings throughout all anything we do to one side we do to the other and until you're there fully integrated but I say minimally you do it three times more on your weaker side every time you do it on the so if I'm doing the handwriting you know my penmanship's really good because I've had millions of messages on the right side my left hand is now catching up because I'm doing it three times more anything I write right-handed I sit down and write it left-handed three times just to get more messages to build that those connections those wavelengths the uh, sent to the other side and yeah that's most of the injury the things and then the added benefit of, of vibration coming down two handles can only reduce um, but it also, I feel like, takes a lot of the work off your wrist, the two handle, just because this other handle is always helping, either pushing or pulling and counterbalancing. And that's just, is there anything else, right? <laughs>